Hello everyone and welcome back to my RPG Maker MV tutorials. My name is Syndicate of the Pandora Network and today we're looking at fishing. Now this demo uh, tutorial even is going to be a bit shorter than the other ones just because I am going to provide you with the demo to download and have a look at yourself again. So everything is provided unencrypted so you can learn how I did everything in this demo. So we're going to play and see what we can learn from this today. So, you basically start off in here, in the fishing hut. Now this is similar to Zelda, hence the Zelda music in the background, where you go into the fishing hut and you pay the gentleman for a game of fishing. So each round is 50 rupees, we currently have no rupees, so we talk to this dog. Here's 50 rupees, top dog! Now we can talk to the horse over here, he says a bit of a pun at first. Hey, quit horsing around! Okay, not so funny. My apologies. Go on, let's try that again. That never happened. Okay, okay, that was just a bit of fun I added in there. Hello, you have come to fish, right? Yes. Great. One round is 50 rupees. Okay, of course. Have fun. This fishing pole should help. So we go into the fishing area now, which is the fishing pond, and you'll see these random bubbles appear all over the map. Wow, a large fish. Nothing is biting. Cool, a small fish. Now I've set it that every five seconds the bubbles will spawn. Nothing's biting. Small fish. Small fish. And as you can see, the timer is counting down. It was originally 30 seconds. Nothing's biting. Once the timer reaches zero, time's up. And you return to the fishing hut. Hope you had fun. You can keep what you caught. Please play again. And as you can see, we caught three small fish three large fish from that. Small fish, heal, large fish, heal more. Okie dokie, so that's the minigame version. If you want to integrate fishing into your world maps, however, I have also included that. Don't want a fishing minigame and would rather integrate it into your world? Follow me! So now we're on a beach and we've got a fishing bubble here. I need a fishing rod. So as you can see, we currently don't have a fishing rod. If we talk to this little fella over here, Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Want a rod of your own? Yes. So we now have our very own fishing rod. We've talked to the bubble again. As you can see, it will start the mini game. Wow, a huge catch. Looks like a rare fish. Amazing. Wow, a catch. Small fish. A monster attacks. And now we're in a battle with some slimes. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've just made us level 99, so this is nice and quick. Wow, a catch looks like a small fish. A monster attacks. So you can change the percentages on everything you catch. I've made monster attacks quite a high percentage, as well as nothing biting, and the small fish, of course. Luckily, we got a rare fish. Now, what I've done with this is we can actually learn a skill from this, so this will teach you fish breath. So now our cat has fish breath. Ew, stinks. And that's it. Although what I have also added is a restriction. So if, for example, you don't want a player spamming this fishing node, after a certain amount of times, five I've set it at, no more fish seem to be biting around me. Maybe I caught too many at this spot. So you can then have a clause on to reset that. So I've set this lady here. I can reset that fishing spot node for you so you can fish more, please. So this spot will be unlocked again. Nothing's biting. Nothing's biting. A monster attacks. So you get the idea there. Now, in terms of editing this uh, for your own game, uh, you really need to learn about conditional branches, switches, and variables. Now, as I say, the demo is provided and it's all unencrypted, so you can fiddle around with this. And I'm sure you'll learn a lot just from looking at all of these different events around here in the fishing hut, fishing pond, and fishing in the wild. Um, there are some parts which even complicate things a little uh, for myself in here. Uh, so I do apologize if it's a bit messy and you don't understand what some things do, but please just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, um, explaining as best as I can what it does. Um, so I'll quickly run through them. So you've got the horse event here, which is the 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 kind of gatekeeper for the minigame. 
he uses a conditional branch to determine if you've got enough gold and if you do he will then spawn you into the fishing pond uh, fishing pond uh, the things of interest here are the bubbles which appear and disappear so as you can see it uses a, a variable to call itself uh, the variables are counting from this event here so it counts from a random 1 to 10 um, and if a certain number is called a certain bubble will appear so if bubble 1 if, if variable 1 is called this bubble will appear if variable number 6 is called this bubble will appear etc etc so that's how the bubbles are appearing and disappearing on the map if they do appear and you use the action button on them it's going to run through this script here um, so it's going to do random 0 to 100 for a fish catching event and then it's going to use variables to determine what you catch so 0 nothing is biting 0 up to 30 even is going to be nothing is biting then 30 up to 70 is going to be a small fish uh, and then you get a large fish and then a rare fish so it uses percentages uh, for that there uh, and then it goes from 0 all the way up to, to that variable there and that's the same for all of them uh, of course if you go to the database and you go into your items you can add more than just three you can have obviously different types of fish shark octopus uh, you know tuna fish all that stuff and you can then have more event pages going along here if you like uh, so the more you get obviously you can change this to, to a certain percentage uh, for for what you want to catch okay now the interesting thing about fishing in the wild is the fishing node so first of all it checks if the party has a fishing rod and then it counts using this fish node variable so as you can see every time you catch something the fish node goes up by one and when the fishing node reaches five then it won't let you use this node anymore. So no more fish seem to be biting around me. Maybe I caught too many at this spot. To reset that, you speak to this woman. And as you can see here, she will control the variable fish node and turn it back to zero. So lots of messing about, lots of variable controls, uh, conditional branching as well, massive in this, and switches. Um, so it's worth knowing the basics before you dive in. But if you do just want to dive into the deep end and you're a complete beginner to this, I'm sure you will learn a few things. Uh, so as I say, all provided in um, the description below. Uh, it will take you to the RPG Maker forum. Uh, I will also include the direct Google Drive download. So thanks a lot for watching as always guys. I'm sorry if this was a bit complicated. Uh, I know we're only on tutorial number three on the channel at the moment and I'm jumping into variables and all this stuff. Perhaps the next tutorial will be about a more basic uh, conditional branch and variable and switch uh, tutorial. But until then, all the best. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And... Uh, Leave a comment if you need any help or if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.